Coco Centric is a brand of statement jewelry and accessories. It's fearless, beautiful, sophisticated, and cultured. It's a mood, it's a vibe. I'm LaToya, I'm the founder, creative director, and designer for Coco Centric. Coco Centric is an e-commerce platform. I do not have a physical location. So my website is the first thing that you see that introduces you to the brand. So it's really, really important for me to have a visually appealing site and a site that feels luxurious. My friend referred me to applying with Adobe Co-Create. I'm a busy entrepreneur, so I kind of drug my feet. So finally I did apply and I was so surprised that I got in. I'm so excited to be like a part of Co-Create. It's like pretty surreal, honestly. When I spoke to Andre, I told him I want my clients or customers to feel like they're walking into a Coco-centric store. I am Andre, I'm from Portugal. Uh, I am a UI UX designer. I always like to create uh, things and that bring me to design because I like to think about the way the product works and to solve problems. She asked for a redesign of the website. I have some experience on websites, but in Portugal. So I think it's different on America. So that will be the challenge. But I think that's a really good challenge. I am very excited. So I pretty much built this website myself with my friend. I like what I have, but I feel like it could be better. I think the website is good, but it needs some polishing. I, I have to, to think about this and I will show you some, some pages. Okay. She wants a new way of communicating with the clients to sell the products and tell a story. I want them to have that feeling, that excitement of glam, of all the things that Coco Centric is inspired by little details that really make a difference that I haven't been able to do on my own. I will try to deconstruct it first and then uh, with the pieces that I deconstructed, I will build a new version, a better version. I go through a few steps. Firstly, the sitemap and the, the a research about the brand. I was a little like, not sure. All right, well, I don't really know this person. I've never seen their resume. He had expressed to me that he had never worked on a fashion site. So it was like, I don't know if he, he's gonna understand my language, you know, or get this vibe of Cococentric, this thing that I'm trying to create. Here, uh, what I did was uh, simplify uh, the, the home page that you had. You had uh, two images, two buttons, and I think a, a little bit, a bit chaos. I uh, made some cleanup. That's really cool. <laughs> I like it. The idea is when I scroll, these images uh, scroll as well. These I love that. Wow. Thank you. He had given me a link on Adobe XD to make notes on things that I did like about his first deliver. We had a really good discussion back and forth. Here, I took this block you have here. Yeah, and reworked it. To show you how we can show the same thing with a little bit more of impact. Love that. And I think it worked very well. Yeah, you did it. It looks <laughs> great. When he showed me his draft, I was like, wow, like I was excited. It was better than I expected. The main point of the, the briefing was to try to tell a story while selling the product. Latoya, she had an idea and I showed my vision of what she wanted and I'm really happy with it. And I think Latoya did as well. It really captured the essence of my brand. It was the same, in a sense, the feel, but completely different. I was really, really blown away.